How's it going guys? So before we get started, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver and you want to get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use my link in the description to sign up. It's going to be the first link in the description. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name's Dylan. How's it going? Today's a little bit more of a vlog style, you know, we're just walking. Um, but yeah, today's is 20 reasons why you should be a Lyft driver in 2019. So I'm here today with Kevin, my camera guy. What's up guys? Also a member of the Rideshare Hub. So actually, some of you guys might know, but we just finished finals week. Oh my gosh. Um, it was pretty, pretty crazy for me. What about you, Kevin? It was pretty bad, not gonna lie. What was your worst final? Uh, this theory class, definitely. Theory? Uh -huh. That is so vague. You just talk about theories? <laughs> <laughs> Sociological theories. Like 9 11 theory, like conspiracy? No, no. <laughs> Finals week is just, it's super long because we have a whole week off before called Dead Week yeah. and we just study for a week and then take the finals, but we're done. All right, so if you guys don't know what Berkeley looks like, here is a quick, quick view of what Berkeley looks like. There's a moving truck right there. <laughs> moving truck, those people, are the units right there. Lots of people with suitcases. Field hockey team. And then you got me, you know? Oh, yeah, got you. This is a great view right here. <laughs> and also, me. <laughs> Just casually vlogging and people like- <laughs> People are staring at us like, what? Wait, let's show, the, show their cars. <laughs> We're like crossing this, the crosswalk <laughs> vlogging. It's we have the selfie camera, I don't know if you guys can tell. We just wanna say, um, you know, congrats to all the winners on the uh, dash cam giveaway. We haven't filmed that yet, so we don't know who it is, but um, <laughs> congrats to everyone who won. And thanks for a thousand, you know? Look out for 2,000 subscribers, Come, coming up quick. I have a feeling it might be in the next couple days. No, maybe not next couple of days. <laughs> couple of months. Couple of months, maybe. <laughs> we'll Actually, a couple of weeks, to be honest. Yeah, we're growing pretty we hit, fast. We hit a thousand You guys are fast. awesome. Yeah. I love all your guys' comments in there. Um, you know, but keep it positive, you know. When I, when you guys, a couple of you guys out there are a little... A little, neg know. little negative Nancys, you know. <laughs> but it's okay. We, we accept everyone into the Rideshare Hub community. Yeah, we, we, like, we like criticism, for sure. Yeah, no, de definitely. Actually, criticism. that's the best way to learn, right? Yeah. So exactly. you get criticized, yep. you know? So unless it's too harsh and then it hurts unless my feelings. It's too harsh. Um, like everyone <laughs> telling us how bad our audio quality is. <laughs> Which actually kind of makes sense, but. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys like, it echoes so much in that room. I'm like, well. It's not really I don't have like anything up. on my walls. <laughs> yeah. Also, special shout out to JT Automotive Rideshare Guru. Guru. Is that what he, yeah. he made the most epic video ever. Well, I'll play a quick clip from that about like, right. uh, he won our t shirt. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? D, Dylan, what do you think? Kevin, what do you think? That's it, baby. I even got room for my little hoodie, man. It's kind of cold in Atlanta, man. I just, I feel like it's, it's something that, uh, like big YouTubers would get, like a shout out like that, but I mean, we're not like huge, obviously. Not I mean, we're yet, pretty big. Is. We got 1K. One solid 1K right now, but <clears throat> I just thought it was cool because it's like he made us feel like really like known and like special, which is cool. All right, so here's Cafe Strata here. Once and again, no ads from this. <laughs> and we're gonna sit down and get a coffee and go off the 20, 20 tips, 20 reasons why you should be lift driver 2019. <laughs> What'd you get? Cappuccino, dry. Cappuccino on the rocks. So reason number one is money. All right, I know it's pretty obvious because you know you do get money for this, but it's a great way to make money. You can work part-time or full-time. For me, I started driving for Lyft just part-time. You know, I did it on top of my other job and I just wanted to make some extra money. As some of you guys know, I use Lyft to pay off my debt and to pay off my car. You know, I bought a car on a loan and I, I just wanted to pay it off as fast as I could. So, you know, I you can work as much or as little as you want. All right, reason number two. All right, guys, so unfortunately the audio got really, really bad. It was kind of windy out and my microphone is just not that good on that camera. But basically what I wanted to say is that reason number two is the flexibility. When I first started driving for Lyft, I had a full-time job working nine to five and I could just sign on the app right after I got off work and sometimes I got off early and I could still sign off right when I got off work. I didn't need to wait to clock in and I just really like the flexibility aspect in that one day I can start driving at five or six a.m. and then another day I can start driving at six p.m. That's just something that you won't really find at many other jobs 
And that's just one of the great reasons why I love driving for Lyft. All right, reason number three, it's easy. It's stress-free, you don't have a boss, you know, you're not reporting your earnings to anyone or your sales, you're, you're just working on your own. And I think that's one of the best reasons why you should drive for Lyft or Uber. It's super easy, you know, for me as a student and, you know, working as well. I don't know, there's something very soothing and calming about driving on the road, um, you know, except when there's traffic. But uh, other than that, it, it's, I, can, I think it's really fun to, you know, go and see new places. And all the time when I see new places, I'm like, wow, I, I kind of want to go there myself and, and visit there. Um, so, so yeah, stress-free. All right, reason number four, and I love this one, guys. You can get paid daily. You don't have to wait two weeks to get paid, three weeks, sometimes even, I had one job where I didn't get paid for like six weeks after I started. But with Lyft and Uber, you get paid any time of the day you want. All right, and reason number five, it's an easy sign-up process. You know, when you sign up for Lyft, usually you get activated within the day or 48 hours. I think the average is like three to five days, but for me, you know, since I'm such a goody boy, <laughs> I got registered in like a day. But I just wanted to say it's an easy sign-up process. You know, you don't need a college education. Uh, sometimes you don't even need a high school diploma. And uh, you know, it's, it's really easy to sign up. And, you know, anyone can be a driver. Even me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, reason number six is that self-driving cars are coming out pretty soon. So right now, is the best time to drive. You know, your job as a rideshare driver will not last forever, and that's just plain and simple. You know, you have tons of companies working on self-driving vehicles. You have Uber, you have Lyft, even Apple, Google, Tesla, of course, and uh, there's a couple other companies working on it as well. So I don't know if some of you guys know, and I mentioned this in one of my earlier videos, but here at school at UC Berkeley, you know, we had a representative from Lyft come to this artificial intelligence convention that we had, a little conference, and a representative from Lyft said that in five years, Lyft's all, all of Lyft's cars are gonna be self-driving. And that was in 2016 um, when, when she said that. It was like head of engineering or something. So I don't know how true that is or you know how true that's gonna play out, but I know that they are working hard on it. All right, and reason number seven is networking. When you're a rideshare driver, you're gonna have people come in from all walks of life. You know, you might have a restaurant server, you might have a college student, you might have head of marketing at Apple or some company that you want to work at. And you might have a really nice conversation with somebody and get their phone number, you know, and I don't know, it might lead to something else. So that's one of the reasons I love ride sharing. And it's one of the only opportunities where you can just meet random people. It's like a great networking um, time for you. All right, guys, number eight, it's fun. Time flies by when you're driving. There was one time where I drove for like eight hours straight and I, I thought I was driving for like one hour. I didn't realize how fast time flies when you're driving. You know, you can listen to music. I always bring snacks. I pack snacks in my middle console so that anytime I'm hungry, I just have some snacks. I have like five different playlists of like 60, 70 songs. And you know, when you're just talking to people, it, time, time goes by so fast. It's super fun. Uh, I look forward to it. I really do. All right, and number nine, and this is something that Uber just started doing through Uber Pro. They're offering free education. So I love to tell people about this, is that if you don't have a bachelor's degree and you want one, or if you have a family member that want one, either a parent, a sibling, significant other, or a child, um, you can give them a free education while driving for Uber. Uh, Uber will offer you a free bachelor's degree through Arizona State University online and like I said you can either use it for yourself or for a family member and I think it, that just opens tons of doors you know as I as I you know have told you guys so many times I go to school here at, at UC Berkeley and you know as having that degree just really helps me out to have more opportunities in life so you can as a uber driver you can know you can get a bachelor's degree as well through you can get finance entrepreneurship um, you know, there's literally 80 degrees you can pick from. I, I think you'll find something that you like. I'm gonna take over for number 10. So number 10 is free advertising. As a, as a Lyft or Uber driver, you can advertise uh, your business to your, to your customers in your car and it's really easy and simple. For example, if you're a DJ or like an up and coming artist, you can play your music in the car and they can listen to, you, to it and you know, you can ask them what they think and then possibly actually buy one of their uh, iTunes uh, songs or something. And even if you have a business card, you can just hand it out to them as well. All right, and reason number 11 
you can make extra money with these different apps like Cargo. Uh, Cargo is a great app that provides food and drinks for your customers and you know they can pay through it and you keep most of the commission. And there's another cool app called Stereo where they pay you to play music in your car. I'll leave the link for that in the description. And if you want to have your own waters and drinks like that, I don't think you can sell them, but you know, you will get tips in exchange for that. Reason number 12, and I think this is the greatest reason why you should start driving. It's one of the best things that I have learned as a driver, and it's developing your communication skills. I think right, guys, so the audio cut out again. It was just really windy that day. But basically what I wanted to say is that as an Uber and a Lyft driver, you're really speaking with your passengers all day long and you're learning how to get somebody to like you within that first five to 10 minutes. And there's actually some data that shows that being able to communicate effectively is the number one skill set to have for a promotion within your company on top of any other skill. You know, you can be the best engineer or finance person but if you can't communicate your ideas effectively then you're quite limited and there's actually a great book by Dale Carnegie it's called how to win friends and influence people and his main thing is that he focuses the conversation on the other person and that's really how you're gonna win over your passenger and get more tips and learn how to communicate better leaders such as Theodore Roosevelt would remember names of thousands of people that was his big thing and so if you can call your passenger by their name they're gonna really feel more important and just focus the conversation on them but learning how to communicate effectively is one of my favorite reasons driving for Lyft alright so you guys guessed it the audio cut out again but reason number 13 is that you're gonna have great stories and great memories as an uber and a Lyft driver some of my funniest stories come from being a driver and just the different types of people that I've met and the funny interactions that I've had with my passengers and you know for years to come you'll always have a conversation uh, a joke to tell and good talking points whenever you're in a social setting or at a party or at a dinner table you know you can always bring up uh, a story that you have and it's just a great memory to have uh, from the time you used to drive for Uber and Lyft or or as you currently drive for Uber and Lyft. That's just one of my favorite things. All right, number 14. You can be part of the biggest ride-sharing revolution in history. Right now, you know, people are talking about gig economy. One of my good friends, he is also a YouTuber called Uber Tracks Chicago. He doesn't talk, he talks about it as more of a sharing economy that we're entering into, you know, with Airbnb, uh, you know, you're sharing your, your own house with other people. And with Uber and Lyft, you're sharing your car. And so right now, uh, Lyft just filed for their IPO and Uber is filing for their IPO as well. You know, in 2019, Uber and Lyft will be the first ride-sharing companies to go public in the stock market. And you know, right now, it's just, it's just a huge uh, booming industry to be a part of. And you know, I, I think it's great to be part of that history. All right, reason number 15. Driving for Uber and Lyft nowadays is great work experience. You know, you can actually spin this in a way, and this is this is a secret thing. Um, you know, you can put it on your resume as an Uber and Lyft partner, and you can talk about how driving for Uber and Lyft is, you know, it's basically you're running your own business. You know, you're dealing with your own finances, you're filing your own taxes, doing tax deductions, tax write-offs. You're using your own skill set as a way to maneuver the best way to make money and do it as a full-time uh, position or part-time. You can spin it as, as a great working experience, almost like a differentiating factor. You know, if you have other work experience and then Uber and Lyft on top of that, you know, you can, you can talk about how that gained you valuable experience. I mean, you know, maybe, you, maybe you're going for a marketing job and, you know, you can talk about how as Uber and Lyft, you marketed yourself and, uh, you know, built up a, a customer base driving for Uber and Lyft, you know, you can, you don't have to say, oh yeah, I just needed extra money. You can be like, no, I actually wanted to try it out. And if you're thinking about working for a company in the ride sharing industry or maybe the automotive industry or even the marketing industry, you know, you can, you can actually say that you drove for Uber and Lyft as a way to test the market. And you know, you said, oh, you know, I just really wanted to have a hands-on front end experience on Uber and Lyft. And now I want to, you know, dive more into the back end, into the finances or into the marketing. You know, so going into a job interview, you can even really talk about your experience. All right, so the audio did cut out on this one again, but 
This one is just about how many people you meet as an Uber and a Lyft driver. Many times when I drive, I have my passengers invite me out, especially when I drive at night. And usually, you know, I tell them that I, you know, I do need to drive to, to make some money tonight. But sometimes, you know, I, I take the offer and I tell them, yeah, shoot me a text and I'll see what I can do. And I've also just met some other really cool, interesting people who are also entrepreneurs and I've connected with them as well. And also on top of that, you can meet a lot of cool other drivers as well. And when you do meet another driver who has done a thousand, two thousand rides, you just connect on them on a different wavelength than just any normal person. This is just one of the great reasons why I love driving for Lyft and Uber is that you just meet a lot of people and you make a lot of friends. All right, reason number 17, and I really like this one, is that you can wear anything you want. You know, most jobs you have a uniform or, you know, my last job I had to wear a, a khakis and a polo shirt every day and dress shoes. And, you know, it, driving for Lyft and Uber, you can, you can wear your pajamas if you want. You know, I recommend wearing something decently nice just so your passengers, you know, have a, kind of a better experience. But, you know, if you're feeling lazy, you just want to wear jeans and a hoodie, you know, you totally can. So that's a great perk of driving for Uber and Lyft. All right, reason number 18, and this is one of my favorite ones as well is that you're in control. As a Lyft and an Uber driver, you can control how often you drive, you can control who gets into your car. You know, if you ever feel uncomfortable, you can always, you know, tell a person that you, to get out of your car. You know, this is your own car. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you can take as many breaks as you want. You know, for me, I love taking multiple breaks, and I usually take a break every single hour. Uh, you know, some, some people think that is a little excessive, but for me, I like to just get out and you know, at a normal job, you, you usually only have like a 15 minute break every two to three hours. But for Lyft and Uber, if you're driving for like 10 hours a day, you can take like 10 to 15 minute break every hour or every two hours. Um, you know, so I just love that control aspect of it. And you know, you're not bogged down to a desk all day and you can, you know, drive to a certain area. Maybe you want to drive, a, drive in a certain market one day or a certain market the other day. All right, reason number 19 is that if you don't have a car, you can rent a car, or if you do have a car and you don't want to drive for Lyft and Uber in that car, or if it doesn't qualify, you can rent uh, through Lyft. Lyft has a cool program called Express Drive, um, and you know if, if you use the link in the description and just click on I don't have a car or I need a car, then I'll take you to that. Uh, Uber, you can use Hire Car. The other one is called uh, Hertz, and then you can also use Get Around, which just partnered with Uber as well. So you know there's some great options if you don't have a car, if you, or if you want to rent a car. Uh, I do recommend if you're going to rent a car to do it full time. I don't think it's smart to do it part time just because you know you do have to pay uh, like $200 a week or so and so uh, which you know sounds like a lot but think about it you're not depreciating your own car you're not paying for any maintenance you're only paying for gas. And so if you drive it's better to drive full time so you can you know make make extra money. You know it's not worth it if you're only driving part time. All right, and reason number 20, the last reason are you guys ready to finally be done watching this video? All right, reason number 20 is that it's safe. You know, everything is tracked on the app. You know, if you ever have any issues at all, you can always track, trace back, Uber and Lyft can always trace back to who the passenger was or anything. Um, you know, and if you are any skeptical at all, if you drive during the day, you know, there's tons of daylight and you know, it's super safe. Sometimes at night, sure, you might get um, one or two passengers every now and then that's a little intoxicated. Um, but if you drive during the day, it's completely safe. And I recommend if you're starting out, start out during the day. Um, you know, maybe during the lunchtime when it's pretty slow. Um, and also, I, I do recommend getting a dash cam at, at some point. It's not required, but I do think it's a great um, way just for security purposes and, um, you know, just so you have that footage if anything does happen. And just so you guys know, every time we hit a new milestone of a thousand subscribers, <laughs> We are giving away dash cams, so you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So just be on the lookout for that. And you know, we just hit a thousand, so we gave away 10 dash cams. And at 2,000, maybe we'll give away 20. I don't know. Uh, so just look out for that if you do want a dash cam, or obviously you can just go buy one yourself. So, all right, guys, those are the 20 reasons why you should be a Lyft driver and an Uber driver in 2019. Um, if you're interested in being a Lyft driver, go ahead and use my sign-on link in the description for sign-on bonus. And if you have any questions at all, 
feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email at the rideshare at gmail.com and um, thanks so much for coming by subscribe like leave a comment where you're from I'm curious what whether you're driving for Lyft or Uber whether you're thinking about driving um, but yeah that's about it what do you think Kevin I think they should also follow us on our social medias which are on Instagram yeah I don't know it's a little personal you think all right we'll leave that in the link link below too <laughs>